Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. So today I'd like to share with you a third project that I'm trying from this book I found while I was on a treasure hunt. So a little backstory, this book is Patterns and Projects from Crochet. And in here, they have granny squares and they have um, all sorts of projects you can do. So what I'm doing is I'm recreating each one. I have a video on this one on my channel and I also have a video on the ball. Now, the one that I want to do today is the scarf and that's what I'm wearing. So I have created it their way using their pattern. And what I want to do now is take their pattern, be a little bit creative and make my own version of this item. So what did I use for theirs? I used loops and threads, of course, purple. It's a medium four and it is, the color is, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's just a number apparently, V005. I call it really cool purple. So we'll go with that. The hook that I used is a 5.5. And I'm going to do the same thing as far as the same type of yarn and the same hook. I'm just going to change it up a little bit, be a little bit creative and see what I can come up with and show you as I go what I change for their pattern. All right, so here I have everything I'm going to need to make my version of this beautiful infinity scarf. So the first thing I wanted to make sure I did was get a comparable yarn. So what I used for their version was the loops and threads, a medium four, needs the five and a half millimeter. I mean, it's a soft classic. Let's see if we've got the same type. Caron cinnamon swirls three balls to make that, but that's fine. I'm not making that. <laughs> All right. So the color here, look at this twilight surf. How beautiful is this? It is a medium four. It suggests the five and a half, I believe. Well, anyway, that's what I'm going to use. So look at those colors, purple and light purple and, and blue and dark blue. I love it. I think it's going to make an absolutely beautiful scarf. So Here's the book. I'm going to turn it over and keep the pattern right with me in case I need it. And I will let you know where in the pattern I'm actually changing it up a bit and making my own rules. Okay. So we'll get that out of the way. I'm going to start with chaining 36, just like it says to. One, two, three, four. Okay, 35, 36. Now here is where when I was actually doing it the first time I got confused because of the way it was written. So you, they want you to triple stitch in the seventh and eighth chains from the hook. The thing I'm gonna change right here is as most of you know, I am not a fan of the triple, treble, whatever you wanna call it. So. This is the one attached. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the seventh. I'm going to do a double. Okay. So we're going to do a double crochet in the seventh and then a double crochet in the eighth. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have the loop here for the stitches we skipped. And there's eight of them. So the next thing on their, their instructions says double crochet behind the first triple in the sixth chain. So I'm going to half double in the sixth chain. And that way it's going to be a little bit of a tighter pattern. Okay. Go through yarn over, go through all three. All right, so it's a similar pattern to theirs. Okay, so there's the first set of stitches. Pretty much the entire pattern of the scarf is this right here, this cluster, okay? 
So it says to skip the next stitch and then continue with this pattern through the rest of the row. So we're going to do a double crochet here and a double crochet in the next one. And then I'm going to do a half double. Now here's a trick that I learned while I was making the other scarf. I put my finger in the stitch I'm skipping. So when I turn it around, I can see which one it is. Okay. Half double. And there we go. Let's try it again. We're going to skip this one and I'm going to double crochet into this one. The fun thing is it's a little tough on the first row because it always is. The first row is always tough because you don't have a lot to hold on to, but once you get this row established, it's really a super easy pattern. So um, we're going to double crochet into the next one. And then I'm going to pinch the one I skipped, which is right here. And I'm going to go in and half double into that one. Side note, the half double is my favorite stitch. So I try to incorporate that whenever I can. All right. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to do a double crochet in the next. and a double crochet in the next. And you guessed it. We're going to pinch the one we skipped and we're going to do a half double. It's, it's tough getting back there, especially on the first row. That's why I'm pinching it and getting myself right in there. Ooh, it's chasing up the, there we go. Okay. Woo. Half double. We're almost halfway to the first row. So go ahead and we're going to do it one more time together and then I'll let you finish the row. So it's a double crochet in this one. You skipped one. Let me start that over just so that I, I don't miss anything. So here's this last cluster. So you're skipping one. You're going to double crochet into the next two. So there's one double crochet in the next one. And again, my little trick is to pinch the one you skipped so that when you turn it upside down, you can make sure you're getting into the right stitch and we're going to half double that. Okay. So go ahead, finish the rest of the row and I will meet back up with you. Once we get here, I'll show you how to finish the row. And then row two is the repeat for the entire scarf. So I'll meet you back here at the end of the row. Okay. So here we are at the end of the row. You have two stitches remaining. You've just done this last cluster. What we're going to do is skip that one like we would normally and just do a double crochet in the final stitch, chain one, actually chain two and turn your work. So there you go. You can see the pretty pattern. It's nice and puffy. I like, this pattern so far so good. So let's start the next row. Now this is actually the repeat for the rest of your scarf. So what we're going to do here is skip this first stitch right here. Okay. You can see you just chained, skip that first stitch right there. You're going to double crochet. into that one, double crochet into the next one. Again, use the trick so you know where you're going and you're going to half double into the stitch that we skipped and you're ready to go. So here's where you finished off. You're going to skip this one and you're going to go right back in here, do a double, double, pinch the one we skipped and half double. OK, 
Okay. Okay. So one more time, we're going to skip this one. We're going to double crochet into this one. We're going to double crochet into this one. And then we're going to half double into the one we skipped. And that is the simple pattern that we're going to follow all the way across till we get to the end. So go ahead and remember, you're going to skip one, two double crochets, and then you're going to half double back in to the one that you skipped. Okay. So skip, double, double. Here's the one we skipped. So we're going to half double into the skipped one. And here's how it's starting to look. Look how pretty that is. So go ahead and finish all the way to the end of the row. I'll meet back up with you when we're almost to the end and I'll show you how to finish the row off. Okay. So we're back to the very end and we're doing the last little cluster. Double, double. And then, oh, my yarn is stuck on something over here. Here we go. Technical difficulties. Okay. So we're going to pinch the one we missed or skipped through here. Okay. Now you've got that little chain and then one left. So as we would, we skip that one and we're going to do a double right into the chain at the end. Chain two and turn your work. And that is the pattern for the entire scarf. So again, we're going to start row three. We're going to skip this first one. We're going to do a double, another double, <laughs> and then we're going to do a half double back into the one we skipped and continue this all the way to the end. Then remember, you're just going to do a double crochet on the very last loop right here. Chain two, turn your work and you're going to keep doing this. It says here that the finished product, it is 28 inches long when both ends are joined. So you're going to do double that. You're going to do 56 inches straight. And then I will come back and show you how to, um, how I am going to put the ends together and make an infinity scarf. Okay. So here I am. I have my version of the scarf, the same length as the version that I did following their instructions. So what I want to do in their instructions, they say to whip stitch it together. I did whip stitch the original one together and I didn't love it. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me fix that stitch right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slip stitch it end to end. And I ended here because the colors match each other. And, um, I think it's a perfect place. Plus it's the exact same length as the other one. So instead of the whip stitch chain one, I'm just going to go ahead in and make as minimal of a seam. I almost said theme <laughs> as a seam as possible. So all I'm doing is matching as close as possible, stitch for stitch. And I'm going to go all the way across. Now we can already see that my stitches are a lot tighter than the ones in the book here. Okay. They use treble and double. I'm using double and half double, partly because treble is not my favorite stitch <laughs> and partly because I wanted to put my own um, spin on things. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch all the way across. And then I will show you the finished product and compare the two once I get them done. Again, this is up to you how long you want to make your scarf. I don't like um, infinity scarves that go too long. I like them tight, almost like a uh, turtleneck 
or a cowl neck. Um, so that's why I made mine a little tighter. So you go ahead and finish this all the way up to the end. I'll show you when I get to the end how I finish it and we'll meet you there. Okay, so I'm at the very last stitch here. I'm going to go ahead and do one last slip stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it through and finish this up. Well, it is fighting me right there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to tie this off here. Grab my scissors wherever I may have hidden those. And you know, no job is done until your tails are tucked, right? So let's get those tucked in. I'll use this needle here. And again, we're just hiding them as good as we can. I always tuck it in to the project and then thread the thread. Find it easier. However you tuck your tails, that is your prerogative. You can do it any way you are comfortable with. That's one side. And then here's the other side. Go ahead and tuck these right in here. As hidden as possible. You can go back and forth as many times as you want. As much as you're used to. I might go a little bit more in here and back through there just to give it an extra little tie off there. Okay we're done let me turn this camera around and check out the differences between the two and we'll compare them stay tuned okay so here we go this is my version of the infinity scarf it's a little bit tighter i use the same amount of yarn as i used for the original one um, and i have to admit it feels sturdier so what did i do different well let's see here I did the different stitch. I did a double and a half double as opposed to their treble and double. Okay. You can see the difference there. Now let me find the seam. Okay. So the difference in the seam for their seam, is this it right? Yep. Yeah, right here. They did the whip stitch. Okay. For my seam, see if I can find it right there. I did the slip stitch. So I like the fact that mine is a little bit more less pronounced and it, you can't tell with the colors on this one because I did not color control, but here it is right there. So the colors match the same, but I like the fact that, um, I'm a big fan of the slip stitch rather than the whip stitch say that three times fast but here you go this is my finished and you can see they're both the same size one is a little bit wider than the other you can see that and i did the same size um, crochet hook i did the same size yarn i did the same size everything but the stitches were different so there you go two versions of the same infinity scarf and there you go that's just another way you can be creative and you can take someone else's pattern and you can change it a little bit and make it your own so be creative and i will see you next time have a great day